Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Joining us now is Megan McPherson with TARC. Good morning. Good morning. To McPherson, you. excuse me. You're Let's fine. start with how progress is going on with the feeding clinic. So, first, explain what the feeding clinic is. So the feeding clinic is a great resource in the community. It helps adults and children work through different feeding issues that they have. And this new clinic that we're building is going to really help be able to help serve the clients better. It's going to have different heights of counters that will be able to serve differently abled people. And it's going to have sinks at every location. So it's going to be really helpful for um, working through different issues and having all of the things available to the staff and to the clients that we need. So. Um, construction is coming along really wonderfully. Yeah. We're excited to finally see our cabinets coming in and getting installed. So it's starting to look like a room now. We're really thrilled with that. So uh, we're looking forward to a dedication in August. It, okay, so is that what's next in the process? Yes. Dedication? Okay, that's exciting. Um, now, several organizations in the community have helped with these upgrades. So who all has helped out? Yes, so we have really grateful to some help from different organizations. The 2030 Club has been a huge help to us, as well as the Stormont Vale Foundation and the Greater Horizons Foundation, the Callanan Fund. So without their support, we couldn't have done this. And it's going to be such a great resource for our community. So we're just really appreciative for their help. Yeah. Is there anything else on your guys' radar to upgrade or reconstruct? We're also looking, we're actually in the process of also building an audiology clinic. Okay. So TARC is going to be a one-stop resource for children in the community who have feeding issues or hearing issues or um, developmental issues. So it's just going to be a one-stop shop for kids to come and have all of their needs met um, by our staff and in our facility so that you don't have to seek resources in many different places or hopefully streamline it a little bit so that it makes it easier on parents. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now I want to switch to the 31st annual golf tournament. So yes. Talk about that and tell us how much money was raised. So it was a great event. We had a great beautiful day. It was just a little overcast and not too hot, so perfect for golf. We had over 30 teams come wow. out and golf with us, and we raised over $20,000 for wow. our programs and to help our person surf. So a fabulous day. We're looking forward to the next golf tournament next year. It will be our 32nd annual golf tournament, so um, real, really grateful to everyone that either sponsored or had a team in the tournament. Okay, and now real quick, we're running out of time. Are yes. there any upcoming fundraisers? We have some things in the work, and I'll let you know as soon as I can make those announcements. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Megan, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. And for more information, you can head to tarkinc.org.